Wow guys, all I can say is wow, wow, wow. What an experience. Hi guys and good morning to you and uh, welcome to Fort Aventura. So in this episode I'm going to be covering uh, mainly the sand dunes in this one but this morning uh, I'm covering a bit of uh, coastlines around Conway itself and this beautiful beautiful pier. You can just about see my camera just, just perched down here and I'm using the rocks just to channel it into the pier and the Isle of uh, Isla de Lobos in the background. I have been here to this island before, it's my second visit here and um, it's quite an epic place and this episode, I'm, like I said, I'm going to be concentrating on the sand dunes itself or the sunrise and a sunset. Now, I'm going to put a couple of images on my last visit to this location and it's uh, where I've visited uh, Morrow Jabal Lighthouse, all south of the island and the lighthouses etc. Uh, so, Join me on this little epic adventure. Let's get going. Bye for now. Hi guys and welcome uh, to Fort Aventura. Before I head into the sand dunes, um, tonight, well this evening, I'm capturing the Isla of Los Lobos, which is the island with a massive extinct volcano on it. This is to the north of Fort Aventura, uh, just north of Coraleo itself and uh, hopefully I'm going to get some nice, some nice leading lines of some waves and uh, hopefully nice colourful sky tonight. Tomorrow morning, uh, that's when I'm hitting the sand dunes and uh, should be quite an epic little journey. So I'll run you through exactly what I'm doing at the minute down on uh, the coastline here. So I'll see you further down there. Bye for now. So guys, plain and simple for this one, uh, I'll just run you through my camera settings on this one here. Uh, shooting at f11, 1 6 of a second, uh, 24 mil. I've got two reverse grads in, so I've turned the other one upside down because I didn't bring my three stop with me. And just to slow that motion of the water down, you can do that, you know, turn the grad around, put it in upside down, and it captures the bottom of the frame. So I've, I've got a 0.9 in for the bottom and a 0.6 in for the top. Uh, it's quite simple, that really. Um, yeah, manual and aperture I've been shooting on this location. I'm not going to put a what three words up on this location, especially for the sand dunes uh, tomorrow morning, uh, because sand dunes are a beast and they will move with the wind, so it's quite pointless really. But you'll see where I am in the sand dunes. Anyway, I will see you tomorrow morning. Bye for now, folks.
Hi guys and welcome to the sand dunes of Coraleo, well Fort Ventura. Absolutely fantastic prime conditions this morning. Look at the clouds behind me, just turning colour. Beautiful, look at that. It's amazing. So, oh look at that as well, that is absolutely brilliant. So, I don't know if you can see it at the minute, but just in front of me, this my camera set up just here, there's a, a lone tree. Tried coming here um, before blue hour and, and arriving in darkness and it's quite actually really really hard to find a composition in the sand dunes itself. Uh, I wouldn't say go exploring a day before because obviously the sand dunes move don't they so but these aren't too bad this is hard sand so you might get away with coming here day, the day before and scouting a position out and uh, see how it goes but I'm not going to mention what three words because it's quite pointless really because it, the sand dunes are a bit of a beast and they, they, they do move with the wind and time so let me throw you through uh, my composition at the minute so I don't know if you can actually see my camera down here and what is in front of me I'll just come down a bit so you can see that tree just there in right in front of you just there so I've been firing away at f9 and f11 I bumped my ISO up to around about 400 and uh, manual settings um, uh, three to four second exposures this morning and uh, what else yep ISO 250 I'm shooting at the minute manual I've already said uh, I've got hard grad in for the sky which is a 0 0.6 and uh, I might just take that out for the actual I want because I really want a, uh, a sun star effect coming over that sand dune with a tree in the foreground and we'll see how that one turns out but one thing you have got to watch out for here is uh, footprints in the sand and uh, one do not change your lenses in the sand dunes two and <coughs> try not to get out all your kit because the sand will get in there anyway let's get on crack on with some images and uh, I'll speak to you in a minute bye for now Now it's uh, got a bit lighter, now you can actually see uh, what I'm actually capturing right in front of me. Uh, absolutely fantastic. So I've got this lone tree, the extinct volcano in the background and the sand dunes itself. The sun is just about to pop the horizon over here. I'll be swinging around just over here somewhere and shooting straight towards the sun, see if I can get that sunburst effect, that's what the sun star anyway. But what a location this is. I'm going to play around and obviously uh, I'll be running around like probably a headless chicken when the, uh, the golden hour comes. Well, hopefully, fingers crossed, the golden hour comes. And uh, we're we'll running around the sand dunes trying to get as many captures and compositions as I possibly can. Uh, I w I'm definitely going to come back here for a sunset for sure. And... Uh, all my images that you do see in this place will be on at the end. I'm going to throw a couple of images as well. What I did capture my last visit to Fort Ventura, because I did um, last time hire a car and done the whole island. So I'll show you a few pictures in a little montage of what I captured before. But this time I actually got the bus here, used public transport. And you know what? It took about 10 minutes and just like 15 minute, 20 minute walk into the sand dunes. And uh, But like I said before, it's hard to uh, get and find a composition in the darkness. It really is with your head torch. And uh, you ain't got much time. I think I've got about 10, 10 minutes of, let's say the golden light before it gets too bright to start taking pictures. But uh, yeah, fantastic location. Let me just swing the GoPro away from my heat so you can see like, the surroundings. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. See what I mean about the, uh, the footprints? You just have to be really careful when you're taking the images. You can Photoshop them out, but it's just like to capture the images without the footprints in. But beautiful. And look at that just coming up. And you can see my footprints there, the way I've come. But that's what it's all about sometimes. Uh, you just got to come out here and explore and uh, find nice compositions. Absolutely beautiful. Anyway, let's get on, get some images. That's what I'm here for. Bye for now.
Hi guys, so that's uh, the uh, sun up now and I've just been capturing some awesome images. Well, I think they're quite awesome anyway. Just let me know in the comments. But fantastic, lovely colours in the sky all around. Been shooting this uh, lone tree just behind me. As you can see, my camera's nice and low here. Uh, I did switch it to a sunburst as well. I don't know if I've caught that yet or not, but we'll soon find out. I was shooting at F18, F22 for that one, shooting directly at the tree. Uh, straight into the sun itself. I'm coming back here for a sunset for sure. Uh, again, use public transport and uh, I'll see you then. Bye for now. Hi guys and welcome to Act 2 of the Sand Dunes at Coraleo. So this evening um, I've managed to find a composition without no footprints in it. Best time to come here is a sunrise or sunset. Sunrise being the best one because the wind overnight creates new textures in the sand and gets rid of most of the footprints. Uh, for a sunset, I've been really, really lucky and found this lovely composition. Some lovely sticks in the sand, has a bit of foreground interest, textures, and leading onto dramatic mountains in the background. Uh, it's just a matter of about 45 minutes now until that sun goes down and uh, hopefully the magic will happen. Just one on this location. Don't attempt to come here in mid-afternoon and uh, get images. It's just far too bright and to come into the middle of the, these sand dunes um, in the middle of the day is basically suicide. You need to drink a lot of lot of water. It's about 30 degrees here at the minute. And uh, yes, I can feel the heat sweat pouring off my head. So let me give a shout when uh, I'm actually taking the pictures. Bye for now. So I've actually uh, changed my composition because I've just seen something a little tiny bit better. Obviously you can see my camera just down nice and nice and low. And let me just run you through it, what I'm capturing here. So there's my camera. I've got this lovely, lovely leading line of this curve in the sand and it's a, a quite low intimate low down shot and obviously that sun going back down there somewhere the back of these mountains but i've got this big vista in front of me and all these lovely ripples right here in front of me it's love, not one single footprint in front of me which is absolutely fantastic got a time lapse on the go so i'll capture this sun going down i am right near enough in the center of the sand dunes of Coraleo. Nightmare to get to, but uh, definitely worth it. And hopefully that's going to turn lovely colour and the clouds are just coming over the horizon over here somewhere at the back. And uh, we'll see how this one turns out. See you in a while. Bye for now. So guys, I've got about uh, five or ten minutes before that sun eclipses all of these mountains in the background here. Hopefully all these clouds as well will illuminate in the background. You can't probably see them in the, the GoPro itself. But uh, it's been fantastic this trip. Uh, I've only spent two days here in the sand dunes. I've covered most of the island um, in the past, which you'll see my images um, in a little montage itself. It's been brilliant this like, and this tonight should be absolutely magical. So let me get a shout in about five, 10 minutes when not five, ten minutes for you, in a couple of seconds. Bye for now. Well, guys, all I can say is wow. This place definitely has the wow factor for uh, photography. And uh, if you're in Fort Ventura, do come here and uh, visit this location. It's the sand dunes of Fort Ventura and Coraleo. I'm not going to put what three words up because it's quite pointless because these sand dunes do move over time. Uh, do enjoy the images and uh, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my holiday in Fort Ventura, drink lots of wine and uh, just enjoy myself and uh, enjoy the images. Thanks again guys for tuning in and do hit that like and subscribe and I'll see you very very soon in the future. Bye for now.
Thank you.